Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. My name is Paulo and I'm here for another unboxing video. I have here a big knife for quite a big box. This is my Victorinox Pro Hunter in red that I like a lot. And let's open this box. This is a box that I received from Apple Boom. These are not on loan for review. These are pens that I actually bought for myself. So let me just speed up this part. Okay, open. I will just zoom in a little bit and let's see what is inside. So as I told you, what is inside I bought for myself and I bought it with the, the money from the channel. So it's quite, it's kind of a gift from you, my viewers. And I have here these parts and all is out. So, let's start with important stuff. The Stropwaffel. I love these little cookies. Let's call it that way. Then we have a traveler's notebook, these lightweight inserts that I really enjoy and I use a lot. I have this package which has a ink bottle. This one has special as a limited edition pen and this one has a pen that I don't know much about and I'm quite interested in. So I will zoom in again and I'll talk to you about what is inside all these packages. Okay, the camera is on a little bit and let's start with... not with these, I will eat them in a moment. I shouldn't, but... Okay, this I don't need to open it, it is the lightweight passport size refill for my traveling notebook that uh, I use a lot. Then I have this package with Apple Boom branding and inside there is an ink bottle. I always say that I don't need any more ink and I'm trying to... I can't open this. I'm trying to reduce my number of ink bottles but I don't think I can so I'm doing it, but slowly. And I bought this. This is Robert Oster Crocodile Ring, which is a color. There is a kind of a little swatch there. I can't understand it quite well. It looks like black, but I would say it is the kind of color that I like. The black greens or the green blacks that I really enjoy. Oops. I stepped the, tra the tripod. So this is an ink that I'm, I'm really interested to try. One of my favorite inks ever is the Mont Blanc. Um, how is it called? Racing Green. It is one of my favorite colors. I still have some bottles that I'm using. I'm using a lot and we'll see how this compares. I'm not trying really to replace it so soon because I still have some bottles, but it's a color that I enjoy and I want to have always some with me. So let's open the other package. This one is not an ink, it is a pen. And let's take this out. It is a pen from a brand I don't have any and it's called Joya and it says here writing emotion here on the label it's it, there is the name of the of the model so this is the Joya 
Capo di Monte, which is the top of a hill, Van Gogh with the F nib. Because I'm not Dr. Stephen Brown, I can't say Van Gogh in a proper way, but I'll say it the Portuguese way, which is Van Gogh. So, this box opens like this and like this. I don't really know anything about this. I'll need to try to know more about the brand. And let's see. Okay, I think this one is nice. Let me take this out because I have this in the auto uh, white balance and I think that this orange is destroying the white balance. This is a pen that really reminds me of the um, somehow the the Netuno pen and Leonardo, something like that. It is an Italian pen. Uh, there are other YouTubers that already reviewed some Joya pens. I never saw this model, the Capo di Monte. And because I'm recently more into this shape of, of pens, these cigar shaped pens, I wanted to buy it. So let's open it. This was the pen that delayed the, 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 this delivery because it took a long time for it to arrive. I think it has a really nice resin. I understand why they call it Van Gogh with his, all these swirls with blue. Kind of reminds us of the Starry Night painting. There is here something, some engraving, I saw it. So I have to make all these manual focusing because this phone is getting crazy sometimes. So Joya, Capo di Monte. And then, what's that? Is there something? Okay, it's like a serial number, I guess. So, but it's not a limited edition as far as I know. So it is a cigar shaped pen. I really like the shape of it. And it has a number oops number six nib let me focus it nice one it says gioia italia it looks like yes it is a yovo nib made of steel everything looks nice it has this metal ring there which sometimes rusts i was about to try to unscrew this but this is a piston filler pen but it feels like this so some it may be a real piston filler or like a an integral converter i don't really care in the end it is a piston filler it makes that sound when it reaches the end so it does not unscrew there and it looks like a really nice pen let me just try focus there put these back on and let me just compare it with some other stuff for you to have an idea of how it looks like of or what it looks like let me just sit down on my chair and try to show you I have here a pen that I would say it's more more comparable which is the Leonardo Officina Italiana this is the Furore Grande and the Furore Grande is really too big for direct comparison I think the girth is similar the diameter of both pens but the Leonardo is longer then I brought here the Jinhao X159, which is in a more comparable size. I have a Montblanc 159, 149, sorry. The Sailor King of Pen, which is also bigger than this one. So this is kind of the smallest. I have also here Pilot um, Costume 743, which is the same size as the 7 the S823 that most people know and this one is longer but uh, thinner than that one about the nib size 
this one is a number six and the others that I can compare with is like this Jin Hao which is a number eight the Mont Blanc which is a number nine so this nib is smaller but in that sense it is comparable with the nib on the Leonardo I just think the nib on Leonardo is set a little um, further up than the nib of the Joya I also find the shape of the clip interesting and so I'm very interested in trying this pen and seeing and to see how it performs so let's cap all this stuff and let's go to the next pen let me put all this away lots of stuff here on the table now and this is the last item inside this box from Apple Boom and this pen is a limited edition and it is upside down and it is a platinum pen and I'm quite interested in this one I don't want to damage it because it's it is a limited edition I just want to take a little more care of it than I do of some other regular edition pen boxes and here it is where is the how does this open from here like this now come out okay it has this paper I don't think I can pull it so like this okay let's take this outer paper and we have this cardboard platinum box go away and it opens also with a magnet and here we have it this is the platinum 3776 10th anniversary pen and I bought it with channel money mostly for the channel not because I really really wanted this pen but suddenly it makes sense it made sense in my collection so it has some stuff here some papers talking about the pen and the model so maybe I'll need to check this to know a little bit more about this special edition and this is the warranty card and that's all we have a converter a cartridge and a special wow it has a nice shape it it has a, a special ink bottle special edition so it's a for these for this specific pen it's a special color ink fujicon platinum and the 10th oops i'm not sure if i was in on camera i was a little bit distracted looking at it not through the screen and here it is a special uh, special edition with a special ink release and now what really matters the pen let's take a look at it i will take the box away okay let me take this away and let's take a look so this pen is to is the is to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the model 3 uh, 3776 i don't have the the 10th anniversary of the 3776 uh, century because 3776 is an older model and this is a little bit different from the usual 3776 I will point the camera down a little bit more so here it is the I don't have as I was telling you I don't have the the 3776 century 
uh, the, the regular edition, now maybe I will need one. And this pen um, is a little different because the other one has rounded tops. This one is like with a flatter top. It has the 10th thing for the 10th anniversary there. And it has the serial number down here somewhere. I'm not sure if I can see it clearly. Yes, it's there. I think it's they are 3776 uh, pens produced, so it's not that small edition. And the cap and screws, it has that slip and seal fit. And here it is, the pen. It has a different nothing inside, because the cartridge and the converter is inside the box. The nib is a little different as the usual platinum nib and i don't have the usual platinum nib to show you uh, okay i have sorry i was not remembering i will show it to you in a moment so this is a gold nib with a different engraving for this pen and the tines are different and they advertise it to be more flexy not like a flex nib, but more flexy, and I will test it when I will make the review. Yes, it is a limited edition, but I will not keep it unused. What I have to say now, clearly, it is very, very light, but it's not posted. I don't usually post my pens, and it doesn't have ink inside. And if I put a converter, it gets more weight. So, this is an interesting pen. Why did I buy this pen when I don't even have the regular 3776 Sentry? I bought this pen just to kind of fill a gap in my collection. And why did this gap appear? First, because I have some other pens that interest me. Let me show them to you. I have in my collection of platinum pens, I have kind of a sub-collection that started with this one. This is the Platinum Glamour, which is a very small and fat pen with an interesting shape. And this pen was really strange and I tried to know more about it. And I understood it is from 1987 or it was released in 1987 and it was the Platinum Glamour made as kind of a reduction and a fatter 3776, the original version that was made in 1978. But later Platinum released the Platinum Gathered, which is really the same pen as the Platinum 3776, the, that original version. This is just a re-release and it has this kind of ridges also. So these pens are very similar. One is the shorter and fatter version of that one. Both are slip fit caps and when you look at this one you'll see that it has, let me just bring it to focus, it has the regular platinum nib. Now, I also have, because I was interested on, in it, the platinum president, mostly because I like Waski Squirrel's videos and he has one and he says wonderful things about this pen and I had to buy it, the Platinum President, which is not the same model as the 3776, but it's quite similar in shape and size. The, it has some little differences, it is a little bit girthier, but I will need to, I think now I need to buy a 3776 Sentry just to complete the collection. And this one has a screw fit cap. And then when I look at this one, no, let me put this, this one is kind of the modern version of the original one, which is similar, I, th I think they just have different number of ridges, then they made this very cartoonish version of that one, and now they re 
they released a 10th anniversary version of the 3776 century but with some references like this flatter cap top the ridges there it, it has some inspiration on that version and I think that is a fun thing I think I I thought I'd need to have that and now I have also the president which is a different kind of model because it is a screw cap these are not but the century is also this modern version is and though it is inspired there so I think I need to get the century version the regular one and to compare it with the present and with that one now let me just show you the nibs up close because it's always fun and because they are very different so what we will have here is one steel nib and two sorry one steel one steel nib and three let me put it this way and three um, gold nibs let me just adjust them and I will bring them closer to the camera and I will refocus this so there you can see we have th very three different nibs the glamour has the steel nib however there were uh, nibs uh, so there were some of these pens that had gold nibs it has it is a nib that's very strange because it's kind of short and very wide in the wings this one is the president which has a different nib from that one I'm not sure if the nib is really different or just the, the looks of it but it looks to be less wide at these wings or shoulders or how should we call it and the decoration is different it's a two-tone nib it says president the other one says 3776 and it is kind of interesting and then you have this one which has a different shape the tines are I will not say longer but are thinner and the decoration is different so the nib is different and this one is advertised as a softer and more flexy nib so I thought this would be a nice addition maybe like a special edition that will not you'll not see everywhere and I thought that because I could have enough channel money to buy this pen I thought it could be interesting to show it to, to buy one mostly for you to to enjoy it and to have your ideas about it and maybe I'm not sure if there are many other reviews out there I'm not sure when I ordered it there were any but it took a long time because of this one that was on the same order and it was a later arrival so this is this was my Apple Boom purchase two pens kind of this one I was really interested in this one is more for the channel this is kind of an expensive pen I bought a bottle that it's for my really personal use and the traveler's notebook refill and of course the Stroopwafels that they always send us so this is all I had to show you today I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to meet you soon here on the channel so bye